So I should start by um, apologising for anyone who's come on tonight expecting to see Liz Johnston. Um, I'm not Liz Johnston, obviously. So <laughs> what? No, I'm not, believe it or not. Um, and even more surprising, uh, what's this stuff, huh? I don't work for Vic SES, so I'm not I'm not Kate White either. So <laughs> you really you really lucked out tonight. <laughs> so Kate. Um, Kate is going to come on tonight and talk about um, Kate works with the State Emergency Service here in Victoria. Um, she was going to come on and talk more broadly around uh, emergency management arrangements in Victoria and I guess the broader general reform. So I'll go through Kate's presentation first. Again, I'll apologise. I only got it this afternoon. I haven't read through it very much. So <laughs> maybe I'll just put the slides up and get it as we go. But, um, and then I'll move on to, I guess, some of the more specific things that we're looking at here in Victoria when it comes to Mental management and how that relates to um, what we call top end management in Victoria as well. So there are, I think, a lot of parallels I'll draw with, with your presentation as we go along. So we'll start off at, at the national level, and I guess there was a push back after um, the 2011 floods in Queensland, particularly, and also the, the 2011 floods in Victoria, um, to move towards a model of what we call disaster resilience. So the key document. Uh, with regards to that was this national strategy for disaster resilience. And really it shifted our thinking away from protecting people against natural disasters to building their capacity to be able to recover from those natural disasters over time. So there are some of the, the key aspects there. So it was really sort of looking more at um, involving the community much more in, in emergency management um, and building the partnerships back across all levels of government, the private sector and the community as well in, in building people. So how did that how did that look at a Victorian level? Uh, so obviously, 2009 Black Saturday, probably the worst fires we had in the history of the state, followed less than two years later by the 2010-11 floods, probably the worst floods we've had in the state for a long time as well. So we can see, in a very short period of time, how we can swap from one focus of bushfire to floods, um, and who knows uh, what the next fire season will bring to us, and then maybe not we head into a, a dry period as well. So what, what came out of that was really, I guess, the focus here in Victoria to building the capacity across the whole the emerging management sector. I think what Black Saturday showed us is that the CFA and DSC were overwhelmed by that. I, I think that was pretty, pretty clear. And I think it's pretty safe to say, and I can say this about Kate being here, um, but the 2010-11 floods overwhelmed big SES mm -hmm. in their sheer size. Uh, so where we tended to head to here in Victoria is building that capacity across the broader sector. Uh, as I said there. We've moved to this all hazards, all agencies approach that they talk here. So um, at any given time now, we have a major flood event in the state. The person in control of it, what they call the state response controller, could be someone who works for CFA. Could be work, someone that works for Delta if not necessarily someone that works with big SES. And the same when it comes to fire. We have a major fire, the state controller doesn't necessarily have to be Craig Rapsley. It could actually be Trevor White or Tim Winkles from big SES. So we're really trying to build that capacity at that, at that higher level. We're trying to work back uh, back to our community, build that, that sense of, um, of resilience, share information. Um, when I get onto the, the flood related side of things later on, we'll show you what we're doing. We're really trying to move towards a much more sustainable system, uh, again, minimising uh, the consequences, but also building the ability for communities to recover from flood events, from major fires as well. They're always going to continue to occur, but if a community can bounce back more quickly, uh, reorganise themselves if need be, uh, they're much, more able to, much better able to So some of the policy settings that have come out of, I guess, um, the Black Saturday War Commission, um, the 2010-11 floods review that New Economy undertook, was the development of what we call the White Paper. So this is a key policy document across the whole of the Victorian government uh, to reorganise, I guess, the way we sought um, emergency management to be practised here in Victoria. And it says our fundamental shift with a focus on communities. 
building that community information, that community resilience. Moving away from that idea that you just wait there, wait for the, the SES truck to turn up, or wait for the CFA to rock up on your doorstep. A lot of this is about you and, a lot of, and government's here to help you do these things, but government isn't necessarily going to save you every single time. So to be honest, it's a bit of a bit of government government understanding what its role is and government being able to sort of fill that role and build a community. Uh, all about building a more disaster resilience. This word resilience comes through a lot of the time uh, in, in the literature these days when it comes to emergency management and obviously a safer Victoria as well. Uh, just a uh, I guess a snapshot out of, the, out of the white paper there uh, about the vision, as we can see there, very much about minimising the likelihood and consequence of disasters in the Victorian community. Key principles, community, keep coming back to that focus on community. Um, collaboration across agencies, across government. Uh, I'm not saying we've solved it, but we are getting better at it, I think. Uh, and then also building that capacity that all hazards all agencies. So as I said before, making sure it's not just one agency that has the ultimate control of a particular incident, but building that capacity across the sector. Uh, and a number of, I guess, supporting strategic priorities on the bottom there. All right, so as part of that, uh, what we've established here in Victoria now is what's known as Emergency Management Victoria. Uh, so this is really an expansion of the role, um, the fire set, what's known as the Fire Services Commissioner had after Black Saturday, where um, the Fire Services Commissioner following Black Saturday really had that overarching control over the all fire agencies, so CFA, DELT, um, MFB. That was expanded out to the Emergency Management Victoria, which in an incident, um, and you all know Craig Lapsley from the, the TV, whenever it gets um, hot and dry outside and windy, Craig always, from, he said he always pops up on telly. Uh, Craig then takes on that role in an incident of controlling it um, uh, across at the state level, potentially. Uh, and he gets as part of that operational part of Emergency Management Victoria. But also Emergency Management Victoria is about um, a lot of this collaboration, um, organisations training together, organisations working together, organisations um, building uh, those, what they've known as a common operating picture, so everyone's looking at the same information when it comes to emergency and later on I'll talk about um, the product that we put together, Flood Do, um, the Flood Cookies and Floods. Uh, and I guess one of the um, examples of all agencies uh, or hazards, um, recently there's some major uh, flooding events that occurred, or occurred up in, in New South Wales. Um, 